I've got no Chris. I've got no Chris, Al. I'm sorry. Oh, Even better. Yeah, Even better. You're looking well, Simon. Boy's always happy to see me with camera in hand. Here we are at Coringa for Blank, uh, Hirata versus Rusley. Um, boys are ready to go. Al's really ready to go, but uh, there's just one thing in his way. And then we'll be off to see uh, what happens. Actually, hang on, wait. Let's have a quick look at the Korean card here. They put us off the blacks. And 6,457 metres. Mm, I think they've got a few of these wrong. I think, yeah, no, that's definitely a par five there. I think we'll change that. And, uh, yeah, I think number two. Yeah, I think that is definitely a par five. And, uh, yeah, what else have we got here? That, yeah, 17. 17 is usually short par four for me, so I think we'll just change that as well. In fact, I reckon probably off the back tees, yeah, let's just call it 80. There you go, perfect. An inspirational, inspirational uh, leader and new Canterbury Masters representative, well, Simon Edwards. Have a bit of a warm up beforehand. Even the Christchurch team are uh, gathering around to watch uh, his form. Michael White, uh, he's getting a bit of peace and quiet this week. He's gone down to number five. He had a pretty handy three and two victory. And James Walker who was two down with three to play. He came back at number six to uh, half his match. I wonder if everybody else is going to go as well. Well, here we go. We're all just about ready to go, but something's missing what is it ah oh, and she's not here oh no late again oh no wait just in time the prodigal son returns to the horrorata blank cup team things are going to be all right andrew inch is back Looking for the ball. Shot. Oh, look at that. Any words? No, no words. Just, just. Oh, shut up, you idiot. Anyway, I had a pretty good shot in there. I actually ended up making birdie. Connell said it one way out to the right, and this is about the only poor shot he had all day. So I was one up, thinking, oh, yep. Um, Little did I know he was going to be way too good in the end. Here's Simon hitting his first one at the uh, at the fifth. He's watching it. Just short. Here's a shot of Al at the seventh. But uh, let's forget about that. We're going to get into uh, the shot of the day here in a second. Check this out. going to end up being the greatest part of the whole video. You're on the clock, boys. <laughs> Honestly, watching six foot eight and Nick Roberts be scared of a couple of little birds is one of the funniest things I've seen in ages. Um, I actually missed the first part of that too, which was uh, even better, but this is Nick now at the 14th, weapon's still in hand. Now he's had it way right here. He's going to end up making the most ridiculous birdie you've ever seen. Poor old Al. This is Al at the 15th. Um, he's going to go on to win this hole. But Nick, he's, he's recovered, and he's back, and he's had a ripper down here at 16. This is way right as well. 
in the middle of the trees, but of course he set it to about 15 feet. Yep, that was a wide, and that was way out there. There's some sort of professional golf tournament. These are the three shots. The other guys hit it 17, and of course there's mine way over here. I actually made par, but uh, Connell made his booty because of course he did. And there's the Canterbury guys. Uh, great take. Behind Inchy's group behind there. They were on the penalty for being too slow, of course. Al's just won 18. He's now three down with four to play, and the choke is well and truly on here. Wait for it. Al two down with three to play. He's going to smash one down the middle here. And then I think it's time for Nick to come on back and clean this up. Or not. Al's now got two putts to go one down with two to play. Which he does. This is Al's third at the second last. He's sort of duffed his second into here. Uh, Nick has gone and gutted his way through the back, so the the, the standard is pretty high. Al's going to hit that up there. He's going to have about 15 feet eventually. And this is Nick, who's now sort of stubbed his ball just on the front of the green for three. He's got this for his par. And Al to go square down the last. Close, but no cigar. Al shot at the last. And that tells you all you need to know about that. And there's finally here's Simon at the last one down. He's a Canterbury rep now, so I'm sure this will be quite a good shot. Not too much, but I'm sure this will be. And there you have it. There's still beer in the clubhouse, which is the main thing. Team's still happy enough. Uh, except for Dan, who's trying to get himself a spot on the Rustley team for next week. And in the end, despite a couple of close losses, reasonably comfortable win for Rustley. We get a week off and then uh, back for 36 holes at Rustley in two weeks' time.